Hello, I'm Graham Foster and I'm the lead author on a paper looking at telaprevir in patients with genotype 2 and genotype 3 hepatitis C. This is a large multicenter multinational study trying to work out whether telaprevir is a useful drug for patients with genotype 2 and genotype 3 hepatitis C infection. Now we know that for patients with genotype 1 hepatitis C current treatments are rather poor and we know that protease inhibitors such as telaprevir significantly increase the response rates. If we take a patient with genotype 1 hepatitis C and we treat them with telaprevir, within a very few days the virus has come down by a very large amount. And we know that if we add telaprevir to pegylated interferon and ribavirin, the response rates are dramatically increased. The question we're trying to address is whether or not the same thing holds true for patients with genotype 2 and genotype 3 hepatitis C. To study this, we took a small cohort of patients with genotype 2 and 3 hepatitis C and we randomly assigned them to one of three treatment groups. Some patients got telaprevir monotherapy, telaprevir on its own for two weeks. Other patients got pegylated interferon and ribavirin. And a final group got peg interferon, ribavirin and telaprevir. Everyone even those on telaprevir monotherapy, eventually went on to receive a full course of pegylated interferon and ribavirin. What we found was rather surprising. For patients with genotype 2 hepatitis C, it was very clear that telaprevir was helpful. Giving telaprevir on its own led to a very rapid, very large reduction in hepatitis C replication. And when we added this to peg interferon and ribavirin, the reduction in the virus was even greater. So we think telaprevir works for genotype 2 hepatitis C. For genotype 3, the results were rather disappointing. The mean viral load reduction was only about half a log, so we think that giving telaprevir to genotype 3 patients has relatively little benefit. If you look at the paper, you can see that out of the eight patients with genotype 3, only three patients had anything like a significant reduction in their viral load, so we now believe that telaprevir really doesn't help patients with genotype 3 hepatitis C. So the take-home message from this study is that for patients with genotype 2 hepatitis C, we think telaprevir might have a useful clinical role and we'll now need further studies to optimise and see if we can use this drug in clinical practice. For genotype 3, I'm afraid the results are rather disappointing and we would recommend that patients with genotype 3 hepatitis C do not go on to receive telaprevir therapy, perhaps outside sophisticated clinical trials. I should point out, of course, that there are a number of different protease inhibitors now being developed. There are protease inhibitors on the market, Vaseprevir and telaprevir are widely available in the United States. There are other protease inhibitors in development. What we don't know is whether the results of this study cross over to other protease inhibitors or whether they're restricted to telaprevir. Thanks for listening.